here let us discuss diamagnetism and langevin diamagnetism equation for that first of all let me define magnetic susceptibility per unit volume is represented as chi is equal to mu zero m over b where m is the magnetic moment per unit volume and b is the magnetic field intensity the substances with negative susceptibility is known as diamagnetic substances and substances with a positive susceptibility is known as paramagnetic sub substances okay an atom consists of a central nucleus and electrons revolves around it okay in the absence of an external magnetic field the average current average electron current around this nucleus is equal to zero but when we apply an external magnetic field an external magnetic field there forms a current loop around this nucleus around this nucleus such that it opposes such that uh, this current loop creates a magnetic field this current loop creates a magnetic field which opposes the external magnetic field this is the property of diamagnetic materials and we know we know the angle of frequency of electrons around this around this nucleus is omega is equal to eb over 2m okay in an applied magnetic field in an applied magnetic field b b is the magnetic field intensity and uh, m is the mass of electron is the charge of electron okay and we know the current i is equal to charge per unit time charge per unit time or charge into frequency okay this is the revolutions per unit time that is charge into frequency if there are z electrons then the total charge is minus z e into the frequency okay into frequency nu and that is equal to minus z e into omega over 2 pi okay frequency nu is omega over 2 pi in terms of angular frequency and that is equal to minus z e into 1 over 2 pi from this equation from equation 2 we know the angular frequency of electrons <coughs> which revolves around this nucleus is eb over 2m and that is equal to minus z e square b over 4 pi m okay and uh, this is the equation 4 the current i is equal to minus z e square b over 4 pi m okay uh, the magnetic moment of a current loop current loop we are considering like this this is the central nucleus and this current loop produces the magnetic field so magnetic moment of this current loop is defined as mu is equal to current into area of the loop okay current into area of the loop and we know the current that is minus d square b over 4 pi m and area of the loop is pi into mean rho square okay this term represents the mean square of the perpendicular distance of electrons on the field axis if this is the loop then uh, the magnetic field axis is this one okay magnetic field axis is this one so here we are considering mean mean rho square means the perpendicular um, the mean square of the perpendicular distance of electrons okay mean square of the perpendicular distance of electrons if uh, electrons are revolving like this electrons are revolving like this this is one electron mean square of the perpendicular distance of electrons this is the perpendicular distance from the field axis of this electron and if you are considering another electron this is the perpendicular distance of the electron from the field axis so mean square of the perpendicular distance of um, uh, electrons here we are considering pi into rho square so that average that average forms the current loop that average forms our current loop which produces the magnetic field okay so that is equal to minus z square b over 2m rho square and this is equation 5 uh, this is equation 5 this pi and pi uh, this pi and pi will get cancelled and uh, rho square we can define as rho square uh, can be defined as mean square of x mean square of x plus mean square of y okay mean square of x plus mean square of y the mean square distance of the electrons from the nucleus is mean square distance of the electrons from the nucleus when we are considering nucleus like this electrons are revolving around it and the mean square distance mean square this is one if this is one electron if this is another electron so mean square distance of electrons from the nucleus is
from the nucleus is okay that is this distance mean square distance of different electrons we are conserving as uh, mean square of r is equal to mean square of x plus mean square of y plus mean square of z square okay uh, for electrons for electrons uh, the um, for an atom when we are considering an atom for the spherical symmetrical distribution of charges spherical symmetrical distribution of charges mean square of x equal to mean square of y is equal to mean square of z okay so we can take it as we can take this r square is equal to 3 into x square since x square is equal to y square is equal to uh, z square for spherical symmetry spherical distribution of charge and uh, we can write rho square rho square is equal to x square is equal to y square so rho square is equal to 2x square and x square is equal to half rho square if we apply this in um, this in equation 9 we will get r square is equal to 3 by 2 rho square okay this is equation 10 so the diamagnetic susceptibility per unit volume if n is the number of atoms per unit volume then chi is equal to mu zero m over b okay uh, mu zero m over b and that is equal to mu zero if n is the number of atoms per unit volume then the total magnetic moment the total magnetic moment of the material uh, magnetic moment per unit volume of the material is equal to mu zero n mu over b and that is equal to mu zero n n over b into you know mu is equal to minus d square b over 4 m rho square okay and that is equal to minus, minus mu zero n z d square over 4 m into rho square and uh, the rho square mean uh, mean square of the vertical distance of electrons from the field axis we can uh, can be written as 2 2 by 3 r square okay so uh, and this is equal to minus mu zero n z e square over 6 m into r square this is a classical language result and the importance of this result is uh, the problem of finding susceptibility chi is now reduced into problem of finding the mean square distance of the electrons from the nucleus okay the remaining terms the remaining terms are constants mu zero is a constant n is a constant z d square z and e is a constant z and e are constants and n is the mass of the electron so now the problem is reduced into finding the mean square distance of electrons from the nucleus okay this is the classical language result